What's up everybody? I would thought I would make a video about why I haven't been releasing as many EDM first reactions lately. It's definitely not on a weekly basis as stated in the video title, interestingly enough. Um, so there's a couple reasons why. Um, and I think I should just, just start listing them off and going down the list. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but just trying to let you guys know about my thoughts on the series, on making them, and what I would like to see done in the future. So the goal of the series is to create just to highlight interesting uh, music that not only is like listenable, but is pushing the scene forward in an exciting way. That's kind of what I want as I want, I mean, it kind of is a two-way street where the more exciting and forward-thinking and interesting music is, the better the videos are, but then also the more of that I highlight, the more kind of per hopefully perpetuating this really interesting um, and forward-thinking music. Um, because I think that's kind of how dance music thrives, or any music thrives at, at, in, in, in that way. So, uh, the, probably the biggest reason why there isn't, you know, a weekly video is because on a week, on a given week, there really is very little guarantee that there's going to be a substantial amount of interest in music that's worth being talked in semi-depth about, or at least being highlighted or something that I would enjoy listening to and sharing. Um, you know, I can, you know, scroll through SoundCloud or Spotify on my own time and sort of, you know very calmly listening to like songs that are meh and just getting a couple that are decent but in order to find a really stack catalog of like 10 to like 15 songs um, it could take you know upwards of a month to a few months to get you know that many songs that are really that sick like um, and, and that's fine you know not every week kind of like has to have you know some crazy amount of music but just for something that I want to make, I want to make sure the songs are worth being talked about, worth my time, worth your guys' time. Because um, that's really what makes the show fun for me, is sharing music that I think is pushing the scene forward. Um, and this is particularly true with albums, from what I've kind of gathered over the past year and a half. Um, like a lot of like return albums, sophomore albums, um, have a lot of hype going to them, but you know, a lot of these albums get delayed like crazy, they're released kind of late, um, and I don't know, the, the hype just doesn't seem to translate into the quality of the project and how um, revolutionary it kind of can be. So. That's what's kind of hard about albums is I'll be listening to an album that's like got a lot of hype, you know, this everyone loves this artist or whatever, but it's like, um, you know, it's either what they've done before or they're kind of taking less risks. It's, and that happens quite a bit. Um, and, you know, it's okay though for, you know, great electronic albums to only come out maybe a few a year or like once every quarter, etc. Like that's fine. Um, but as far as, you know, weekly series, um, I would need, you know, really exciting, interesting music to come out more consistently. And over the course of doing this for a year, it that's not really the case. Um, and this is just kind of my thesis on what I want to see, right? Like, I want to see, you know, forward-thinking, envelope-pushing music. Um, but from what I've gathered and how the kind of the communities feel, because... Um, Overall, I think EDM kind of just has like a s bunch of separate communities that kind of stick in their own lane, are pretty niche and loyal to their artists, and they don't really try to mix. Um, they're okay with their artists not pushing the envelope. Uh, like a lot of times you see on threads, either on Reddit or however you might check out music, or even if you go to a concert, it's like, oh, this artist can do no wrong. I like every song this person does. Um, and quite frankly, I don't think that way at all. Um, that sort of, um, I mean, that, and that's, but that's the thing is that's just how I think about things. It's perfectly okay for pe people to listen to 
um, whatever artist has been doing the same thing for X years um, and be super into it, right? Like, um, and the reason why that's okay is because over the course of this year and a half too, I've kind of been trying to find like a general consensus of like what's good. I mean, I understand art is subjective, but from other um, genres of music, particularly uh, hip hop, which is kind of um, a pretty big inspiration for why I made the React series is because of hip hop reactions. Um, there just seem to be like a general consensus of what's good, of what's worthy to be sort of cherished within the community. Um, you know, people kind of agree universally, even if you like, like the musical or not, you have to respect Drake, you have to talk, you have to listen to Drake's music, Kanye, Kendrick, J. Cole. Um, that's not the case really so much in dance music, especially artists that release music regularly, like, right? Like, um, you know, there are plenty of active, I mean, it, you can't even start, at that point, you can't even really draw comparisons, like Aphex Twin, Porter Robinson, Daft Punk, um, Etc. You know these these kind of artists that are general consensus deemed good um, might only release music once every like half a decade. So as far as the other artists that are releasing music all, very often, like the active artists, um, I haven't been able to find the general consensus really great artists. It really seems like people just have their sort of tastes and flavors um, and like what that artist does, and that artist just does that. Um, and the artist kind of knows that, like they'll release kind of throwaway EPs pretty often um, of like B-sides, very clearly not trying to change anyone's opinion, gain new fans or anything like that per se. Um, I'm not really here to say what an artist should or shouldn't do or what their intentions are, but that's just kind of what I see. Um, I mean, I'm a huge Quicks fan, right? Like he's one of my favorite trap producers, but you know, he, you know, will just randomly put out like a, um, just an EP of some random tracks that he made and for me to review that with the same seriousness or the same you know analytics as a project that took someone you know longer or put more effort not saying that um, it's just very clear the intention of that project and a lot of these tracks that are put out more on a weekly basis with some labels rather than like some other things, some like bigger projects. Um, but again, like that's cool, right? Like I think dance music is a unique way where you can just create, you know, a so put out a song, you know, every week, every month um, that doesn't have to necessarily push the envelope. It just has to be in circulation, um, played live. Um, your fans enjoy it that, that do listen to dance music more regularly outside of uh, a festival con context. But as music that I want to review and talk about in depth, um, it doesn't quite uh, work out quite as much as I would have liked it to. So so those so those were three points. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go back over because I kind of threaded them all together a little bit. Um, but those three things are, um, I don't think the music that gets put out on a weekly basis, the sort of, you know, I'll, I'll, like I'll, I'll, I'll list, uh, you know, Chris Lake tracks. I love Chris Lake. Like every song he's been putting out for the past year has been like so sick. Um, but, you know, after like reviewing four of his songs, like each week, that fifth week, I have nothing to say. Right? So that's the, that's the first thing is, you know, people putting out this weekly music, I don't think is, is not that much to say. Unless you have like a constant influx of new artists, it kind of is hard to discuss about these things uh, in depth. It's much easier to make a playlist and just send it out to you guys. Um, then the second thing, um, a lot of more established artists um, in the community that are often requested for me to listen to, um, I don't believe their projects really meet the hype criteria that I would I would like it to um, so it kind of comes down to like a few artists that release music like very infrequently like the Mad Day on out 
like the Medea album, you know, took like what f four or five years. I remember his like adventure came out in, like high school, my high when I was in high school. So like the artists that I feel like we should be discussing, really pushing forward, you know, are kind of kind of um, you know don't release music that frequently, and then. Um, lastly, a lot of people, uh, I don't, I don't know, especially for the music that's released more on a weekly basis, if there really is a general consensus of what's good or what's not. Um, at the end of the day, this is just, you know, you know, it's it's EDM, it's party music, it's music that's supposed to, you know, make you happy um, and have a good time. Um, it's not really something that I feel like I should be telling you what's good or what's not. I feel like on that kind of music. It really is what you enjoy jumping around to, having fun with your friends with. Um, not really digging too much in the weeds. I mean, I can, I mean, feel free if you like to nerd out like me on, you know, the details of some of these songs, like what samples they chose or what influenced them or, um, you know, some production details. Um, it's really cool too. Um, but I think for, you know, a wider audience of people that listen to this music um that's just not the case they really just like what they like probably because they went to a concert um have a personal experience with this artist um yeah just for whatever reason it doesn't have to be any reason whatsoever um so yeah that's just kind of where i'm at with the series as far as why it's not coming on a weekly basis um So let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about these ideas and thoughts below. I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, so just so overall, I've just been over the past like month or two, just been doing a lot of thinking about, you know, what we can do to make this scene better and grow more. But at the same time, do we even need to do that? That's kind of the questions I'm asking. Uh, I might make a follow-up video to this based on you guys' response. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.